Most World of Tanks players know the Bio medal, named after the French Captain Bio. Yet very few know about the actual engagement that took place in May 1940. Bio's wild ride was part of the Battle of Stone, in which this small village of stone changed hands 17 times in a matter of two days. Few have heard about this battle, yet it was brutal and also crucial. The French often referred to it the Hell of Stone and compared it to the Hell of Verdun. And one German officer made the following remark. There are three battles that I can never forget. Stone, Stalingrad and Monte Cassino. Why was this battle so crucial? The village of Stone lies 15 kilometers south of Sedan, where the German constructed a vital bridge. Additionally, it had one of the best observation points in the area. Its military significance was obvious for both sides. Thus it was an important location for a French counterattack against the German bridgehead in Sedan. At Stone the Germans successfully prevented such a counterattack. Thus some claim that the Battle of Sedan was decided at Stone. But this video isn't about the battle, it is about one part of it. Namely, the wild ride of Captain Bio in his Char B1 BIS tank. So let's take a look at this specific engagement. In the early morning, on the 16th of May 1940, two French artillery regiments started a 45-minute artillery barrage to support the attack of two French tank battalions and one infantry battalion against the village of Stone. The village was defended by an infantry battalion and a tank company. The main force of the French troops attacked from the south, whereas Captain Biot attacked from the west. When he entered the village and encountered several German panzers, the panzers immediately opened fire. But without any success, Captain Bio shot them all up and continued his ride into the village, where he encountered another five tanks on the roads towards the village, which he subsequently destroyed. He then continued along the road, where he encountered an anti-tank gun at the corner of the road, which was also no match for his tank. He then proceeded further and destroyed a second gun, which was his last victim for now. Finally, he drove along the road for a few hundred meters, until he returned to the village with a kill count of 13 tanks and two anti-tank guns. During this engagement, he received 140 hits from the German defenders, but those were from short-barreled 75mm guns and 37mm anti-tank guns. Both were unable to penetrate the heavy armor of the Char B1 BIS. After all, the frontal armor was 60mm in comparison to the 30mm of the Panzer III. Nevertheless, the Char B1 BIS tank wasn't invulnerable. One day before, a German anti-tank unit took out three of these tanks that attacked from the south. German crew detected a weak spot in the side armor and exploited this flaw. Still one wonders, how could the German army with less armored tanks and insufficient anti-tank capabilities defeat the French army in a matter of 6 weeks in summer of 1940? Although the French tanks were better armored and armed, their radios were inferior if they even had one equipped. Thus coordination was limited and many local victories couldn't be exploited. These shortcomings were the result of an outdated doctrine and combined with major strategic mistakes, the French army was doomed. No individual bravery or wild ride could change that. In the same way, Captain Bio's exploit will never count to the myriads of untrue, mean, yet hilarious jokes about French military abilities. And while we are at it, here's a white flag to remind you that this video was about French military history. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And see you next time.